Euphoria. Where does it come from and why does it feel so damn good? Well, we can thank our chemical makeup for that. We like to think we have willpower around this feeling and who we feel it with, but we don't. Okay, maybe a little. But in reality, there is lots and lots of research, research showing how our biology sets up our attraction and desires for our intimate relationships. And yep, that means that our hearts are in the driver's seat of our emotion. And what I mean by our hearts is our biological makeup. This goes all the way back to the basics that mammals need other mammals to survive and thrive and that they need them to, to be with others. And who those others are comes from our genetic code and our environments. Those two things together build our internal chemistry, otherwise known as our hearts. So basically we get a special, special genetic code that drives who we connect with in order to build our species back and keep us surviving. That genetic code nudges our heart to gravitate towards those who fit with our biology and help our species survive. Then from our environment, we watch role models engage in relationships and our hearts create roles we understand. Then we work to emulate those relationships in our adult lives, even when they aren't the most healthy. You put our genetics together with our environments and bam, your heart takes it from there. And this is how your heart creates attraction and euphoric feeling without needing to talk about and get your mind to weigh in first. Simply put, the person that you are attracted to is what your heart sees as fit for what it knows. This fit is all driven by our chemical biological experience and much less directed by our intellect and minds as we like to think. This Valentine's Day, give some love to how your biology and your environment have dictated who and how you are connected in your most intimate relationships.